Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Dwarven Edition in Warsword Conquest. Now, when we left off, we had just successfully raided yet another village because I had hoped that that was going to produce some cattle for the task that our marshal had given us on their campaign to try and take the mighty fist or something along those lines. They did not actually succeed in that. I actually went away from there mainly because I had a bunch of stuff that I wanted to sell. Obviously we have this raw fine silk and well fine oil and wool made cloth, sturdy furs, fine honey which is just insane, all this fine salt, 7,000 to sell it. I mean literally that is amazing. That is really, really amazing. Look at that. 8,000 gold is just mind-blowing. The amount of money that you can acquire just from doing one simple raid is just jaw-dropping. Or you could say Jorga, you know, because <laughs> one of the companions is called Jorgata, so that's, that's kind of amusing. Anyway, let's take a little bit of... Uh, yeah, okay, never mind. Let's just get 10,000 gold in actual fact and now we're gonna go into the arena because it's about time that I gain one of those abilities so uh, is there a, is there a reward can I join too thanks for, uh, okay fine I'm actually gonna join this because I think it would be kind of fun to fight in the dwarven arena even though we are fighting against are we fighting against humans or are these are these actual dwarves I, I can't particularly tell. I th yes, some of them are dwarves. Some of them are dwarves and some of them are humans. That's actually kind of cool. Okay, now do bear in mind. Oh, we have we have an orc as well. This is, okay, so do bear in mind that I'm probably going to get killed mainly on purpose, really. Oh, here's a skeleton. Okay, that's actually pretty nice. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Two against one. How dare you? That is, that is preposterous. That is absolutely preposterous. Okay, well, I'm going to kill you both because I'm apparently amazing at this. Yes, not really, but we're going to, yeah, we're, we're going to get, okay, we're going to aim for eight opponents, okay? I'm not setting my sights too highly because obviously I have, yes, because obviously I <laughs> took a lot of damage. Oh, that was terrible. But anyway, the only reason I wanted to do that, not for the money, of course, was to do this. I would like to learn some new combat skills, and as you can see here, I would like to learn the ignore pain skill. That is going to cost 6,000, so it's pretty, pretty pricey. Not too bad right now because, believe it or not, I just received my weekly wages as well. And apparently, someone down there got taken out. But anyway, just received my weekly wages. And lo and behold, the mercenary payment from the Dwarven Kingdom is actually 1,000 coins. Which i got to say is pretty nice. And on top of that, I also received money from my ironworks that I had previously built in one of the Dwarven towns and that also gave me about 1,200 so we're getting a pretty nice profit every single week and hopefully it's just going to continue hopefully it's just going to continue along those lines as we go and let's just take a look here we have some companions here I I would like that's the thing okay I'm going to take more of these halflings just because we have just about, uh, well, let me just take a look here. Yes, just about leveled these mercenary halflings into master chefs. I'm actually going to take a look at them because we haven't actually taken a look and seen. Whoa, okay. I had no idea they had 15 iron flesh. That is insane. They have 95 HP. I mean, really, that, that yes, I, I'm going to be surprised if anyone kills them anytime soon. Okay, so... What do we do? That's the thing. They've stopped the siege at Demighty Fist. No idea why they even decide to call a campaign if they're just going to stop it very, very soon afterwards. I am, however, I think going to head into Empire Lands and maybe, let's just have a look here. I have 9,800. I'd like to get another Enterprise. Yes, not a Voyager and not a Deep Space Nine. Oh, Star Trek jokes. I don't know why, but anyway, let's take a look here. Are we at war with... No, we actually have 100 relation with the Empire of Sigma, which is amazing. So we're going to head on to Nuln because I feel like building an ironworks there is probably a good idea, or at least somewhere close to the Dwarven towns and territory, even though the the locations of said towns in the Dwarven Kingdom are absolutely terrible. 
even so, I am going to try and do this. So let's have a look here. Yes, Ironworks. It's going to cost 6,000 and our profit would be 1,600. Very nice indeed. So we still have 3,000 remaining. Not bad. And we still need to level up as well. So I think this is as good a time as any just to go for some more agility here. And we're going to go for some more. Let's have a look. Prisoner management, I think. Wait a second. Every level of this skill increases maximum number of prisoners by 50? Did I did I do something in the files or did they change something? Because I don't... I think I... No. By 50? No, that doesn't work. Look at that. That didn't do it. It was 5. It improved it by 5. I think that was basic... Okay, so apparently 50 is a bit of a typo or maybe something I did in the files without knowing it or... I don't even know. I mean, I know in the previous version of Warsword Conquest, the base version of the updated version. Yeah, this is going to get confusing. Before the first hotfix, I did actually change the prisoner management because, I mean, literally, how can you work with 10 prisoners? How can you work with that? I don't know. But we are going to be heading on to Skaven territory. I feel like skirmishing around there a little bit, maybe taking on some of their vassals would be a really nice idea to sort of level up, get our units even more powerful because... I have some long beards here, I have some thunderers, and basically that's it. One slayer, yeah, one slayer that could advance in level as well, but basically that's it for us to level up. And that's the thing, how am I supposed to level up any further? I mean, I'm going to have to start purging. Yeah, quite a dramatic word to use, but I'm going to have to start purging some of the units that are less desirable than the others. And I know that's a little bit too selective for my liking. I usually like to just take basically everyone I can and then see where it goes, but for the most part we're going to have to start purging people that are less desirable. For example, these Dwarven Rangers, even though they are very accurate and pretty good, they're probably going to be one of the first to go, apart from maybe the Halfling Hound Riders as well, because even though I really like having Halflings in our army, it's one of those things where would you rather have halfling hound riders or would you rather have giant slayers or iron breakers or master engineers and things like that? That's the thing. That's the question you got to ask yourself in this kind of situation. Because if I'm not able to get any more renown than I have already, then we are going to be in a very bad spot indeed. So I'm going to try and find some... Ah, hello there. Okay, let's take on Deathmaster Snitch. He is, I think, he's actually one of the sort of lords. I know he's a lord of the Skaven Underworld, but I think he's one of the lords of the Eshin Assassin Order within the Skaven lore. Correct me if I'm wrong, but we're going to try and take him on. Actually, wait a minute. Are they actually not aggressive to us right now? I thought that was kind of weird that the foragers weren't running away, but we are going to attack them. We are going to attack them because the Skaven usually are relatively easy prey for us. And I, I technically, I, I kind of don't really want to fight orcs that much. I know, it's kind of weird for a dwarf to say that, but it's true. I don't really want to fight orcs because they are kind of difficult. They do have some very worthy adversaries and warriors. And even though I would very much like to test our metal against the orcs, I think cutting our teeth on the Skaven is definitely going to be something that I would very much like to do first. So let's tell everyone to charge apart from our archers here, of course. We don't want our thunderers going in. Look at our slayers going in, though. Oh my, I would not like to be on their side. That's for sure. I would not like to be... Well, that's kind of amusing. Did you see that? Ignore pain. Absorbs zero damage. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah. It literally absorbs zero damage. That's great. Okay, so let's shoot this guy. Point blank. Ah, oh, no. Ah, oh, how dare you. Okay, I was hopeful that for point blank that I might actually be able to make it work, but no, no, no. Okay, well, that's kind of unfortunate, isn't it? We can just try and make sure that we stay alive because Grey Man is immortal. Or according to DC Comics, he is. So, yes, not according to me because, I mean, look at me, look at me. I mean, look at look at Yarg, not, not, not me because he can't see me right now, but I'm pointing. I'm pointing at his face and I'm saying, look at him. He is soaked in the blood of his enemies and all that sort of thing. So, yeah, there it is. A mercenary halfling militia with a pitchfork is very happy that we won that. And nine renowned. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Even 
fighting a vassal that has vastly inferior forces. Well, that's the thing. I don't really want to say inferior forces because they are actually pretty deadly still. But, point is, he had less units than us. That's the bottom line, basically. And he, it, it, was, it still gave us 9 renown, which is really, really good in my opinion. And now this is the... <laughs> Yeah, this is kind of sad now. If I was playing Bretonians, this would be fantastic because I'd be able to take this Knight of the Realm, no problem at all, and that would be all fine and dandy. But, as it is, I'm actually not going to take any human-based units here. Even though the Dwarves and the Humans might get along somewhat, I feel like having a pure Dwarven slash Halfling force would probably be the way to go. So, we're just going to leave that for now, and we're going to... We're going to get some more dwarves soon. We only have one space after all, so it's not really a big loss. And we are going to be getting these mercenary halfling field wardens. That sounds like a good plan to me. Okay, so we are technically not very not very well liked by the Skaven right now. So I'm going to try and go and patrol around their sort of nearby vicinity. And we're going to try and see if we can get a couple more vassals engaged in combat here. I would even be able to, I think, probably take on a Skaven vassal of around maybe 80 or so units, may maybe a little bit less than that, but this guy is way too fast in my opinion. Yeah, he's he's traveling at, f at 6.4 and 4.5 when he's in the forest, so it's going to be not possible at all for us to actually do anything here. We could raid this village. I, I know I raided this village beforehand, but we could raid it again to get a little bit of extra cash because we are nearby we are nearby to a pirate to the pirate kingdom shall we just let's just actually take a look and see if the pirates are a little bit aggressive towards us they don't seem to be apparently the dwarves the dwarf faction themselves only have a problem with the orcs otherwise everyone else is oh no and the night goblins never mind okay so they have a problem with the goblins and the orcs not entirely sure why maybe it's the color of their skin Ooh. That's racist. Uh, yeah, I'm just kidding, of course. But anyway, yeah, we are going to try and raid this village right now. So let's try and loot and burn, actually. Yes, give me your cash. Obviously, looting and burning it yet again, and there goes a vassal of 33, which I would have loved to have engaged, but obviously I don't know whether he would have even turned up if I wasn't raiding this right now. So, yeah, let's just actually see whether any large vassal decides to turn up, because you never know. Even if we are able to win one round might be an idea because then we can gain some extreme renown rewards as a result so yeah there we go that's all i can take that's kind of sad isn't it that's kind of sad okay so i i i guess okay i'll just take sausages and that's it yes but we've gained a good amount of money already i would love to fight another vassal where is another vassal ah uh, see that's the thing even if you can't find bandits, then you also have another problem of, where's all the vassals when you need them? Yes, where are they? I would like a vermin pack, actually. A vermin pack might actually give a good amount of renown. There's one over there. But I'm still hoping for that one vassal to just turn up out of nowhere. That would be really nice. Okay, well, let's do battle with this vermin pack before I head into the pirate town and sell a little bit. Maybe we could actually get something going on here, like a nice little enterprise going on in Pirate Kingdom as well. Maybe that would be an idea. See, now as you can see, we only get five renown for this particular battle. It would be really nice if these regular patrols and things would actually give us a little bit more, but obviously there is no vassal present here, so a vassal battle is just exponentially better for us to engage. So yeah, I think for the next episode, I'm actually going to be very worthwhile trying to hunt down all of these sort of Skaven vassals and see if I can actually do something there, because right now it's really not paying off as much as it really should, because, I mean, come on now, getting 9 renown for taking out a band of 35, that would be, I mean... If I, if I did that a couple of times, that would be really nice, because then we could graduate to being a vassal, potentially, at least, and that would be kind of nice. So let's just try and shoot here. Yeah, not not going to happen very much. Uh, come on, take him out, take him out, yes. Oh, no, I'm being attacked from behind as well by a stick, a stick-wielding fellow. Yes, eliminate him. Oh, no, I don't have enough. Oh, okay, thank you very much. See, that's exactly why it's really good to have some halfling hound riders. So me saying that they would be the first to go... 
That's kind of rude. That's kind of rude, I gotta say. Okay, well, maybe that was my bad. Okay, so we took out that skirmisher at least. It did not survive to fight another day, to find some more cheese, and to eat our faces in the meantime as well. Yes, it did not survive to do those things, which is good. So there's five renowns, so that's 56 enemies. And I'm just wondering, is it actually going to gain us more experience? I really should compare that as well. But there's our first Ram Rider. Whoa, okay, so Halflings can actually become Halfling Moot Knights. Halfling Moot Knights? I've never heard of these ever before, but these guys are going to be insane. If these are anything to go by. As you can see, they don't actually have the greatest stats, but that's mainly because they are on a mount. As you can see, they have Riding 6 and some pretty even stats across the board otherwise. And their weapon proficiencies are pretty decent too. So, otherwise, a Giant Slayer will be added to our ranks. We have 8 of those now, and we have 9 Iron Breakers too. And so, let's just head on into the Pirate Kingdom's town here. Just sell a couple of things. And, yeah, I'm actually... It's actually a really stupid idea to take these random pieces of loot from battles because raiding a village is ten times better. So I probably should just, you know, hold those back a little bit. Hold my urges back when it comes to taking those things because it's kind of pointless, isn't it? So, okay, we're just going to take that meat back because there's no point in selling it. Let's take that. And there we go. Okay, so 6,600 gold. That is going to pay for... Oh... Oh, Tom Rackham, Ugh, I'm shaking my fist in the air right now, you can't see that, but Tom Rackham apparently does not like us, so if he's here, ah, I'm going to try and do a task for him, I think. Maybe we'll do that next time if it's a rather exciting task, we'll see. But for now, I'm going to be ending this episode off here. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.